Good evening and happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Al. Good to see you. We're going to be playing some more Dark Souls 2. We are uh, rapidly running out of game, which uh, is, you know, is uh, about to happen eventually. It happened faster than I thought, to be honest. Um, but, you know, we're getting there, and that's uh, that's okay. Uh, I am going to have to figure out something else to do thematically with this whole uh, Dark Summer shenanigan that we've started uh, to, to keep the theme going, because we're not going to make it out of June before we're done with Dark Souls. Uh, but uh, it's fine. I think we can find some some good uh, thematic follow-ups to that, which we'll, we'll talk about probably on Thursday, once I've had a chance to figure out what I want to do with it. All right, hope you're having a good Monday. It was a nice, surprisingly cool weekend here after a heat wave last week, which was a good change. All kinds of stuff uh, happening. I, I feel very fortunate that, like, right now things are, are very chill for me personally, but, like, the media radius around me where practically everybody I know is going through, like, a major life change of some kind, some intentional, some not, and it's like, ooh, there's a lot going on, hey? Um, so just, just sending lots of, of, uh, peaceful thoughts, I think, is probably the phrase I would go with. But there's nothing peaceful about tonight, because we're playing Dark Souls, and we're probably going to die a few times. Uh, we missed last Thursday's stream. I did post a, uh, a short, uh, recorded video of, uh, oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, a short recorded video of, um, going through the, uh, I think they're called the Dark Chasms of Old? which is the Dark Diver Grandal's uh, weird series of abyss dungeons um, that we went through. And it uh, it was tough, honestly. Uh, it was uh, it kicked my butt more than a few times. But we got through it, and that's how we got the, the Xanthus set, which is the thing that we're wearing now. I'm a little bit sad that the helmet doesn't have the big floppy neck that it did in Dark Souls 1, so we can't just, like, ragdoll our helmet around. But it's still, it's still gross, and I love that it's still gross. It makes me happy that it's still gross. Uh, we've changed things up uh, equipment-wise pretty uh, significantly from uh, how we were doing things on our last stream. Uh, so I've kind of uh, set aside the Forlorn set in favor of now the the completed uh, spooky, scary skeleton look that we've got. Plus we have a scythe, which, you know, again, thematically with scary skeleton seems like a very good fit. Uh, we've become... we have become death. Uh, and tonight we will be a death destroyer of giants if all goes according to plan. Make sure we've got all the stuff. We've got all the stuff. It's the other fucking outfit. I love it. Thank you. That's kind of what I was going for, to be honest. Like, I, it's so goofy. The Forlorn set is honestly, I think, like, genuinely a, a beautiful set. And I would probably wear it if this were my first playthrough. But I'm, I'm here to just goof around. And this is amazing. Uh, Xanthus is also, or Xanthus is also terrible. There's also this, the Dragon Sage Hood, which is, um, like a Mysterio orb inside of a mop. It's also kind of great. I don't know. They're all good. <laughs> there are, there are many good and awful options. Up go. Up top. Uh, so this is the Dragon Airy. We went through Aldia's Keep, and now there's just dragons everywhere. Uh, the good news is that they won't attack us. Uh, unless we attack them first, which I don't plan to do. So we're on our way to the Dragon Shrine. By way of zipline. Hey, Katie! You have become the Passage of Time, Destroyer of Civilizations. Ah, love. I love this approach. Alright. Uh, let me see. So this whole area, we, we're we not thoroughly exploring it at the moment because there's there's not really a need. Uh, oh yeah, there they are. These guys. Um, off in the distance here. Let's see if we can get a closer look at you. These ones um, are mummies. So they sort of just flop down and explode. Uh, the yellow in their in their, in their their tummy time uh, means that they're specifically acid mummies. So if we're wearing anything, it degrades equipment immediately. Um, which I'm why partially while we're avoiding them. Oh, I always forget about this. This is not me slowing down for dramatic effect. This is uh, running full tilt and but we're on a we're on a rickety bridge over a whole bunch of nothing. So uh, the wind demands some prudence here. 
I don't think we we had it on last stream either, but also between streams, I managed to, to track down another Forlorn. Uh, so we have a Forlorn Scythe, which is lovely. Um, it scales with Hollowing, which were pretty hollow after I died a whole bunch to the uh, Dark Typer, or the Dark Lurker, pardon me. Um, so at least I've got that, which is nice. There's a bridge drake here if you take certain steps. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think I've ever run into that one. All right, let's get the bonfire. Right. Aldia. Or as I like to call him, Smaldia. He's tiny here. I love it. Young Hollow. How you grapple with a photo with this dreadfully twisted world. Peace grants men the illusion of love. Shackle my fools who stay young for love, unaware of his grand illusion. Until the curse touches the flesh. We are bound by this yoke. As true as the dark that charms within men. Aldia is probably a pure-blooded giant, and has great prices on frozen food. <laughs> ah yes, the dichotomy of Aldia. All men trust fully the illusion of life. But is this so wrong? A construction of facade, and yet... A world full of wounds and scandals. Hmm. No, no. Are you intent on shattering the yoke? Spoiling this wonderful force uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going with yes. I am Aldia. Ah. I sought to shed the yoke of fate, but failed. Now, I only wait an answer. Seek the throne. Seek light, dark, and what lies beyond. Ah, a third option, you say. Aldia might also be a human who has literally grafted giant's flesh onto his body? It's not always clear. Yeah, I think we find out at some point, if we haven't already, that Aldia is Vendrick's brother. Um, and also, Aldia is very clearly into, like, uh, uh, creating a, a simulacra, I guess. A, 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 a mutated life. Um was experimenting with pieces of giants we found in that one hidden room, which was terrifying, um, and made all kinds of, like, weird chimeras and shit, uh, and may have also experimented on himself and made himself a chimera, uh, and then Vendrick, who we saw wandering around in the dark, is huge, uh, and part giant, which made any sense, um, the same way that when we were in, was the Grave of Saints, and we found the, the two different skeletons. And it's like, oh, one of these is significantly larger than the others. And so, like, it's very possible that, that Aldia and Vendrick both are, are partially giant, and Aldia just took that part of his blood and got weird with it, as is Aldia's way. Whoop. That was faster than I expected. Okay, let's just back that up. Oh, I rolled. That's the attack pattern I was looking for. We're dead. Yep. Christy, hi! Man, that was a little awkward. Sorry. I've been fighting NPC phantoms for all weekend. <laughs> Try that again, only not quite so bad. Have some lightning. Nice. Good block. Much better. Can y'all? Well, first of all, it's a hell of a view. 
that's just incredible. Love it. Good shit. All right, let's go ahead and open the ears. Some audio popping and stuttering. I'm not sure what side it's on. It might be on... I'm not hearing it on this end, but it doesn't mean that it's not here. I'm not seeing dropped frames. So that's good. Uh, is it mic audio, game audio, or both? Both. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. Let me check my uh, network. No, the stream seems to be fine. Al, are you hearing the same? It would help us uh, uh, suss out what end this is on. In the meantime, face wall. It seems to be worse when the frame rate drops between loading zones. Interesting. Could just be overload, could just be a uh, processor. Not to be the first time. I like that the, these dragon soldiers leave us alone, provided we don't attack them and or run from a fight. Almost beefed it there, to be honest. Crap, I was counting on that to kill you. A little sliver of health. Oh no. They want to make sure that you're worthy to meet their big dude. Exactly. This is all just uh, trial by combat, which is why they're kind enough to 1v1 me. Should probably start either lightning bolting them or just being better at the hold not dying thing. Try to skip a champion and they all bum rush. I I don't think I've ever tried it. I'm not gonna this time, but it, it is. I love it as an idea that like if you just try to run past, that suddenly all of them aggro because you didn't respect the fight. That's just that's very cool to me as an idea. Ooh, we got lucky there. Please fall over. Okay. Two dead. Somewhere around here, there's a weird shortcut. This is the great sword friend. But we've had it's way too early. Sorry, we got away with it. Uh, we had Sword and Board, we had Hammer Bro, and now we have had, uh, what you call it? Great Sword Wielder. Is it over here? Okay, you're just, you're just, just mad dogging me. Whoop! Uh. And then over here. You might be a trapped chest, I can't remember. Nope. Hide tonight's slab. Don't really need on this playthrough, honestly. We have so many of them. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Crap. That uh, that went bad for us. Hey, bud. Crap. Thought I rolled past that, and I was wrong. Jesus. Wow. Just left the hammer on the shoulder the whole time. Just gray shielded us the whole time. Yuck. All right, well, not, we're not joining the Dragon Covenant. Hey, Mox. So I can probably skip that on the next run. But now we do have to kill all the other ones again, which is unfortunate. Really should start just lightning 
lightning, lightning, some of these guys. There we go. So the thing about scythes, um, and I guess this also applies to axes, although more so with scythes in my experience, uh, is that you absolutely have to, well, you don't have to, but it, it helps to hit at an optimal distance. Any shot that hits not in that range is significantly less damage. Oh, a dripple! Having trouble with my rolls not going off when I think they're supposed to. Isn't this where Bashful Ray fucked up Sue's whole life by trying to rush in? Might have been, actually. It's been long enough, I've genuinely forgotten. Yeah, these are the, the first of the old knights that we've met that aren't all rusted and crusty. Alright. What was that hitbox? <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's clearly we're just we're just not not having it this time. The well, good news is we're at Max Hollow, so at least we don't have that to worry about. Hey, bud, it's me again. My nun souls with left beef, and we move on. Let's get Zeus. All right, now then. <clears throat> we well, skip the little side adventure that I started to go on because. There's a dragon egg that we can use to form a new covenant, but I, I don't really feel like being in a dragon covenant. I've maxed out Pilgrims of the Dark, which I feel pretty good about, actually. And I'm okay just staying loyal. Oh, Christ! We're doing bad, y'all. Like, right out of the gate. Alright, what if we just completely change strategy? This is another instance, uh, and I've, I've talked about how often this keeps happening since I started streaming this game, where I've never struggled on these nights. I've actually found them kind of comically easy leading up to this, uh, but not today. So that's not great. Okay. In there, we won't need this anymore. Grab this guy. Yeah. All right, we can get rid of the feather for now. All right, so we're going back to our old kit. And we'll sort and board our way through this. Uh, but first, we're going to get our health back. Health, please. The champions are the old knights, but bigger and faster. Yeah, like, I, it, um, it makes sense why they would be tough, especially because there's... Very little room for error. If you get hit and you get staggered, you're one hit away from death immediately. I think I'm mostly just puzzled because I haven't yeep, run into this trouble before. So this feels very new. Yep. And I struggle with new things. I feel a change and shall keep my bush. That's a joke for nobody. Alright. In the crotch. Turns out, Dragon Lake Sorg is still very good. We're not even necessarily using the shield heavily, but for some reason, just having it, I fight differently. Which I kind of hate. 
don't know why. I'll take it. <laughs> nice trade. Okay. Progress. And souls. Progress and souls. At least you don't have to put up with the knight. The knights of Hyda jumping in on the fights, though. Yeah. Yeah. Those, man, the Hyda knights took me the longest time to figure out their patterns. Alright. Here we are. Battle on the big bridge. Gilgamesh, I'm calling you out. I love everyone else just being here to, to witness. <laughs> What's that do to you? Not as much as I'd hoped. Ooh. So this is more familiar territory because I've spent the last, like, hour and a half that I was, oh, come on, playing this game, fighting phantoms. Which this is much more like that. Woohoo! Actually, a little surprised we got away with that one, but I'm okay with it. Crap. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Yep. <laughs> Woohoo! Spicy. Come along then. Crap. Bad loop. Now we definitely do not want them on the low ground. Crap. Alright, alright. Probably could have finished it right there. I'll finish it now. What a strange reversal to have an easy time with those and a harder time with the big ones. Hello, friends. Pardon. Just going to see your boss for a bit. H Hi. Hi. Hello. I like the drippy bits off the wings. Honestly, this whole design is great. The Merc shifts and stirs. Yet another stands before us. Then so be it. For the curse of life is the curse of want. It's very Buddhist of you. And so you peer. into the fog in hopes of answers. Thanks, bud. No, no, that's it. Uh, so, I mentioned many, 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 many streams back that I planned to uh, beat every non-DLC boss in this playthrough. This is the exception. Technically, we can fight the Ancient Dragon. But I'm not a monster. I mean, I'm kind of a monster, but I'm not going to be one right now, is what I'm saying. Hello, friends. Pardon. Pardon. This hall is hilarious if you try to run through a whole train of dudes in Dragoon armor. <laughs> These are the dudes that the humans have been committing a decades-long genocide against. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's interesting, too, because... Depending on how you take what the Emerald Herald says and what Shalqua says, these might be a creation of Aldia's, but they, like, inherited the, I don't know, the memory, the soul memory of the things that they are Simulacra of. And, you know, or Aldia instilled the Ancient Dragon with the memories of the dragons that are already deceased. It's a whole... 
it's a whole twisty turny thing. Um, but anyway, you slice it. I, I love the idea that it's the dragons who ultimately, especially if you decide to just do it peacefully, can unmake the whole cycle. That that feels, I don't know, that feels nice narratively. So uh, the ancient dragon gave us a thing called the Ashen Mist Heart, which uh, let's take a look at it. It's probably in the keys. And somewhere. We have so many keys. So many keys. Uh, there we go. Delve into the memories of the withered. Right, Aldia is also an unreliable narrator, and going by that, the Emerald Herald says that the the ancient dragon I, I think kind of implies that the, the dragons created her, and Shalqua implies that the ancient dragon was created by Aldia. So like Aldia's own creation ends up on making his plans is one reading of it. Like there's there's so many ways to take it. All right, so we're going to find the memories of the withered, uh, and the withered are the giants. We're going to do a weird bit of uh, timey wibby wibbly wobbly stuff. Now this worked very well, and maybe we should stick with it, but I'm not gonna. I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated to the meme outfit at this point. I, I just I have to I have to see this through. It's so ridiculous, and I love it. All right. And we do that, and one of these. Uh, actually, if we're going up against giants, uh, we did get a spell from completing the, uh, the Dark Chasms of Old called Climax, <laughs> um, which basically burns all of the spells you have on you to power a giant Dark Hex. Uh, we don't have the intelligence to use it, but I think it's just cool that it exists and that it is named that. Uh, we don't really have a lot of good ability to do dark damage. And that's probably fine. Yeah, no, I think we're just going to go with this. I think we're just going to go with this and do our best. Whee! Did I extinct you guys already? I did extinct you guys already. I went hunting Forlorns because I wanted that scythe. And now we're not even using it. It's fine. Uh, yes, this one, this one. Hey, bud! We're gonna do battle. Oh my goodness. Just obliterated. Okay, let's put on the king's ring. King's ring. Ta ching I love how the door unlocking actually kind of looks to me like it's locking. Since you find the corpse of an ancient dragon in the past, they might have been revived by Aldia and thus took on the hollowing due to having human blood. Yeah, that makes sense. Bonfire. Uh, if I remember right, oh, we don't want to. We don't want to do this one first. Although these are the things that we're gonna talk to. Are these? Um, I'm just gonna enjoy the the sound effects for a moment. So what I love too is that the little like. Firefly things are here. The things that the Milfanitos sing to. The little things that comfort the dead. Anyway, I just love how often we see those. We'll come back to this one, because I want to... I actually kind of want to do this one last. Ooh, very good branch. Uh, first, feather. So the Emerald Hero gave us a feather that is essentially a homeward bone that doesn't ever run out, so we can always use it to teleport back to a bonfire, which is honestly very cash money of them. All right, we're gonna go back to here. Back to here. Bwong. Uh, and I gotta remember. Right, it's up where the pursuer was. That's right. That's right. That's right. And down we go. Wee. Not that way, but this way. I think. Maybe. No, this is a different way. Uh, uh, Alright. This way? This way. It's been so long since we were here. Yes, this way. Alright. It's fine. I got it now. Go back to work. Hey, guys. Come say hi.
Lovely. Reaping some souls, reaping some souls. Da 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 da. If you're gonna have a side build, just go all in, you know? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is all just the walk up. Probably premature, but yeah, it's fine. Hey there, bud. Yep. Yep. Down. Big cracked statue head. Oh, look who it is. Hey, bud. What you doing up here? Well. We meet again? What are you doing here? I, I will ask you first. Who'd have thought we'd meet in a place like this? <laughs> just look at us. Fate just won't let us stay apart, will she? <laughs> <laughs> See, the old sword's caught your attention. Well, you've a good eye then. <laughs> I've been in my family for generations. They say it is crafted with moonlight, and we all know what that means. It wards off evil. And I would need trader for all the riches in the world. <laughs> it's said that no man has ever teased out the sword's true power. But in the right hands. <laughs> I appreciate that the subtitle also spelled out oot. I see you've taken a liking to the sword. Well, I applaud you, for you've a sharp eye. But this is one sword, pal. I wouldn't be giving up. But if you still insist on having it, then you will have to pry it from my cold horns. <laughs> or we can complete your quest line. Have a great date to you, and I'll never forget it. I, Ben Hart, swear by my honor to aid you in your darkest hour, so no problem, pal. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. So uh, that should unlock his summon for uh, the fight. But first. <laughs> Meant to pick up the item, but instead we examine the statue, and now... Walk into the memory. I love how it's all like just completely darkened, the weirdly washed out colors. Oh, look at you, old friend. Now, if this is a memory, how do you know me? Yeah. Just remember. I'm always ready to help. My homeland is in the Far East, a kingdom of honorable fighting men. And this sword, yeah, weighs a true man to wield it. I know how swords think, you see. <laughs> That's a great line. I know how swords think. My homeland is in the Far right. East. I know. Uh, you know. Up or down? I can't remember. Let's try up. Feels like progress. Uh, nothing. Over here. Aha! Am I being shot in the back? I feel like I'm being shot in the back. Yep. It was almost embarrassingly bad. Good night. Now, what's up here that was worth all of that? That's not it. <laughs> there a door? Is there a secret? 
It's one of these walls, not- oh, there's a ferris stone. I mean, what else are we gonna use them for? Eh? Oh, face wall! Face wall. What's in here? That's a trap chest, have I ever seen one. How many of these we got left? This is our last one. You know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. Uh. Did you just do something? Oh! Oh god! Oh man, we waste our last one on a trap. Boo. Boo, I say. Oh, now that's worth it. Three souls of a hero. Like 30,000 pocket souls. That's fantastic. That's just over a level at this point, but still, that's a lot. Oh, they're giants! of Ballista. Speaking of being in the line of the Ballista, Andy. Stop stabbing me. Thank you. Hello there. Oh no! I caught on the thing! No, huh? There we go. Uh, now one of these. Is it this one? Yes. Hop down. We'll make a little. Hello, friend. Make a little platform for ourselves. Probably. Silver cat ring this just to be safe. In case we miss. Nope. We missed. Thank you, ring. Right, hang on. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. There, now I'm ready. Hang on. Full of a giant. Alright, we got what we came for. We, we missed the little ledge thing, but it's fine. Hello, boys. Keep at it. See ya, Al. Right, now we head back. Why am I why am I walking? We have a feather. Honestly, like some kind of pedestrian. Alright. Uh, you can do Oro. Oro, <laughs> we could do the one that's over here. That'll do. Hi, bud. You just you just keep throwing your fire bombs. It'll work out for you one day. I know it. Wee. Remember when we met Pate out here? Good times. Whoop. Ah. These hollow soldiers still fighting the same war. We could tell them that it's over, but it wouldn't make a difference. Alright. In we go. This is Vamar, I think, or Vanmar? Vamar. Yee. Yee. Friend! What are you doing here? You are not one of our soldiers. And I don't take you. <laughs> you tell from the uniform? <laughs> Whoever you are, this is no battle to involve yourself in. Whether you are guided by bravery or brashness. <laughs> this is no place for you. 
So what I love is that that's the Drang Lake armor set, which we find by, like, falling through the crumpled floor after the Pursuer fight. I am Drummond, and the Lord has placed this fort in my hands. Whoever you are, I forgive your trespass, but leave this place immediately. Everyone loves Creighton the Killer. He's a terrific serial killer. Name, and no man will challenge your exit. And even if you don't, by now, my men have not the will to resist. Soon, the giants will descend upon this fort. It is revenge for the kingdom's misguided barbarism. That's true. The venerable lord built this kingdom to bring prosperity to his subjects. What has transformed him so, I cannot imagine. Mm -hmm. I have a theory. Long ago, the king crossed the seas, pillaged the land of giants, and brought back a prize. It was then that the golems materialized. The giants are no ordinary barbarians. A singular rage burns within their hearts. My father and his father both fought the giants on this very land. The giants have wills of steel. Or wood. They cannot find it within themselves to forgive the misdeeds of our Lord. Do you think it might be the whole slavery and murder thing? Ah, uh, it's one theory. Did you see him? <laughs> that towering monster among them. That is most certainly their king. He will be a thing to topple. <laughs> Even if I should die trying. My blade may break, my arrows fall wide. But my will shall never be broken. Those who live by the sword will die by it. And I, Drummond, won't go down without drawing mine. This guy is so fucking self-centered in his heroism. Yeah. Be gone with you. This fort will soon fall. Be gone before the giants are entirely upon us. We learned a gesture! Be gone with you. Be gone. Okay, I think if we kill the giant lord and come back, he gives us the Drang Lake Helm to complete the set. Not that we need it because we're not wearing it, but... You know, just theoretically. Whoop! That has more splash damage than I remember. Alright, fine. What does lightning do to you guys? Same thing it does to everything else. For some reason, I vaguely remember them being resistant to anything that wasn't dark, but I might be thinking of just the giant lord there. Wow, we almost have enough fire seeds to level up our second pyromancy flame that we're also not using. Whoops. A weird angle for that. But good stuff. Hi, friend. Oh, no. We spent too long talking to Drummond. <laughs> Quick, speed run. Hi, everyone. Pardon me. Pardon me. Sorry, I have an agenda. Woo. Uh. Whoop. Nope, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll get this in one. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, we'll get this thing. Oh, no, we won't. <laughs> Tragic. Okay, that's okay. This time we don't have to talk to Drummond, so that'll save us a lot of time. Alright, let's uh, try that Uber from the bonfire. So we're not rushing into this with only five sippy cups. They're heavily weak to darkness because they're light and humans are dark. Exactly. I I remember the thematic reason for their weakness. Oh, hang on. I actually have to use the bonfire. Wong. Ah, uh, you know. 
I'm gonna play it safe. Pardon me for a little bit of bookkeeping. We're a little bit ahead of schedule from where I expected we'd be, so we have time to go back and not be carrying 28,000 souls with us. I appreciate that, Emerald Herald, I really do. Uh, let's get that old faith up. And you know, we're here. <laughs> no, John, you are the Dark Soul. <laughs> uh, do I remember there are these 10,000? Sure are. Okay, so let's use the other two. I am back. Not to 50! Alright, now, if I remember right, that will also let us equip the thing we got for doing the chasms. Which is this beauty. Uh, better dark damage, worse lightning damage. So we're not going to use it yet. The faster cast speed, though, is nice. And better lightning scaling. Okay, I lied. We are going to use it. New chime. Get back here. Tower. If we don't get completely jammed up on the giant lord after this, we might have one more boss to take down tonight. Very spicy. Fair. I love that move. I do, I do. Down we go. Wee. You. Sorry, I just don't want you sneaking up behind me. Be awkward for everybody. No shit. And back in. I am relieved to find out that lightning seems to work just fine on these things, despite the fact that they are basically trees. Trees and rocks. Or I just I petrified wood, which is just kind of both all the time, I guess. It's lovely. Alright, so we head on in here. Right past Drummond. Nope. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> I love your little walk. I should definitely get this thing uh, lightning infused. Next time we're back at McGuff. Yeah, one more time. Next time we're back at McDuff's. Yeah, we don't need to go that way at all, which is nice. Got you in the toes. Turns out I don't need lock on. Alright, now uh, let's eat an herb. Surprised I ended up with so many herbs, considering how fast I was going through them trying to take out the uh, um, the dark things. Crap. Well, I've done the giant a favor. Don't think it cares. Which is understandable, really. Whoop! -a. That was close. I didn't realize I could backstab them. That'll do. Hi, bud. Ow. Ow. The uh, frickin' catabolts are not great. Crap. Woo. Stop with the fireballs. 
Oof. This must be the boss. Okay. Ow. Get away, get away. But not too far. Right into it. <laughs> Unfortunate. God, whoever aimed that fireball, give them a raise. There we go. Seriously? Oh, it's not a catapult at all. It's a giant. Come on, no. Oh, the stagger. Oh. Okay. Well, now that I know that there's a giant up there, I. So there's a later part where I think there are, like, maybe it's also giants there, too, and I just never knew. There's a part where I thought it was siege weaponry, um, but that time it's it's just a it's just a giant. Which, I mean, it basically is a siege weapon, I guess, when you think about it. Yuck. What a terrible way to die. What a horrible night to have a curse. Okay, good. At least I remembered right that it was Siege Weaponry in the other one. So I just assumed there was nothing I could do about it but avoid it. But uh, I think we can actually take that one out. I would love to. Really? <laughs> just about an inch away. Let's try that again and pretend it didn't happen. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. In we go. Third time. A little over a half hour to go. I'll probably just get the giant memories tonight, which is honestly was what I was planning on. But uh, there was a there was a moment there where I thought we might get more. Prince of Persia voice. No, no, no. That's not how it happened. Nice, nice dodge. Let's call it a dodge. Lock on? What was that about? Alright, fair enough. I'm not. Your turn. Oh, that didn't kill you. I... Unfortunate. There's been a lot of unfortunate tonight with uh, uh, big enemies and uh, slow timing and me being very bad at, at timing my dodge rolls. It's how we started the stream. It's appropriate. It's how we ended. it. <laughs> I'm going to switch one thing up, though, because we're currently only doing lightning. That's not the one. We're currently only doing lightning damage, and this is more lightning damage. So. we. Why did I come down here? It's not where I want to be. Back right, up we go. Nope, not that one. Oh, if I farmed this one out. Huh. Neat. It's like Jake from Adventure Time says. Sucking at something is the first step towards being really good at something. Or in Dark Souls 2, doing it really bad 12 times makes it easier. I'm also okay with it. Perfect. Now, if I can avoid getting fireballed to the face, I think we've got a chance. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, one can't reside in memory for long. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, open it. Thanks, bud. There you go. Want to stay in that line? Perfect. One more? Thanks, bud. You're a trooper. Alright. Well, that was much easier. Do the same thing here. Beautiful. Curses. I got cocky, and that's what happens. Come on, oh, please, do anything. Thank you. Come on. Aww. Nearly screwed by camera. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last. Alright. I want to take out the ironclad first, because you'll be a real pain in the ass if I don't take you out. Thank you, please. Oh, come on! All right. I was helping you. I was going to kill you after, but I was helping you. And uh, that's fair. It's, I don't have a good argument here. Uh, fine. But <laughs> Down we go. I have to switch back to the Ring of Binding at this point. We are. I'm trying to find that sweet spot, really. It's good practice. Nom nom. Rocking. I feel like our last few streams have been very, like, swingy. Or we'll have, like, a really good stream where everything goes smooth. And then one where I just cannot. And then another one, everything goes great. And then well, one like this. Which is great uh, news for our, our finale on Thursday. <laughs> Are we having trouble? I don't want to blame you. I feel like that's the... Not great. Yeah. But if it is your fault... <laughs> what was that? Go! First hurdle. Now then. You know, this... Mm, might actually be a really good time for this. Woo! I gotta get me twice with that. Alright. 
No, no. Now, can I get the giant to focus on him, maybe? I'll take it. this, not like this. Oh, I got that. All right. Now I'm uh, kind of regretting not having my uh, my lightning for this fight? Oh, come on. Okay, fine. I need to get all the way back here. Let's think this through. Let's think this through. Come on, you can Okay, what if, instead of that, I just do this? How on earth? It's the leading the sprinted shots, which has not been a thing I've seen a lot. Here. You're the friend? Do I have to kill the big friend? I probably have to kill the big friend. All right, let's kill the big friend. <laughs> uh, we'll eat the big root. And let's go ham. Give me that toe. Pretty ignoble way to die. There. A bit better. Okay, got stuck on the ankle. No, no. We're not done yet. There. Now we're done. Pretty sure it was this guy. Is it not this guy? Very easy. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, examine. I frames. <laughs> hey, Bob. Oh my. Okay, really. <laughs> well, that was a shit show from start to finish, but we got the thing and we got out alive. <laughs> Only took what six tries. Cripes. I'm doing the thing again where I'm walking when I have a feather. Why would you walk when you have a feather? You can fly. I blame SQL Server Management Studio. That. Honestly, I also blame that. All right. Now, back to where we started the night. And out. Whee! Uh, I have to take my head off for a moment to find out... Okay, we are in fact human. Good. It's the one disadvantage of Spirit Halloween. You know what? I should actually use the bonfire, Andy. It's just a... Just a thought. All right, so that's two... That's two giant memories down. One to go. Technically, there is a... We got another giant soul from the, the two giants underneath the Black Gulch that I, I beat up uh, when I was getting to Dark Diver Grandal. Um, we got the Forgotten Key. So we got four giant souls. I'll talk about more about what those do later. Uh, or we got three right now, and if we beat this one, then we'll have... Why didn't I just go to this bonfire? I'm very silly. Um, if we beat this the giant lord here... Then we'll have the fourth soul. Uh, thanks, Bob. And uh, technically there's a fifth one, but it's inside the ancient dragon. And uh, the ancient dragon has done nothing wrong ever in their life. And I'm not killing them just for a giant soul. There's this friend. Who mercifully is the only of the giant statues we find that isn't being attacked by soldiers. 
very small mercy. Excuse me. Look who it is. Oh, no, it's Drummond. Never mind. Alright, so there's another friend that we need to summon in here in a bit. Uh, so this is the bridge whoa, where the bad stuff happens. Um, you know what I don't see? Well, first of all, I don't see Drummond, who I'm hoping can make it through the fog gate on his own. Uh, do I have... Sure don't. That's important. There you go. Alright, so that's the siege weaponry I was talking about earlier. I gotta just get out of the way of it as best we're able. Actually see the trebuchets in the distance, which I think is very cool. Uh, so this is the, I think this is the, like, ow, let me stop talking and start paying attention. Drummond, are you trying to solo that guy? Because that is a mistake. I can stop getting hit by the fireballs. We'll have a chance. Uh, I need to find my other friend. If I can't, I find my other friend. Hmm. We might have to intentionally fail this. this time. Make sure that we don't completely whip this one. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Got you. Well, Drummond lived. Uh, not, not really who we were looking for. Uh, I was expecting to be able to summon Benhard of Jugo for this fight. And if we had pulled off a similar sort of thing and kept him alive, then this would have been great. But I didn't see his summon sign, which I'm a little bit sad about. So I'll have to come back and try that again another time. On the plus side, we got all of the giant souls we need. We have four of those. We have this one, which I'm going to go ahead and eat, because I don't need the... It's a sorcery or a hex, I think, that it grants. Uh, let's go level up a few times. And then we have uh, one more boss to at least attempt this stream. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you again, Bob. I think we missed it because I was uh, running for my life and uh, trying to 1v1 the giant. But there's a part in the middle of that fight where the head of the statue lands on the bridge and rolls at you. Um, like an Indiana Jones sequence. And uh, it's the same one that's cracked Never open when you fight the pursuer. I will always be at your side until hope has fully withered. Let's see how many levels we can get. Probably can get. Yeah, that'll do. Get us some more health. Wong. Got some twinkling titanite. 
back in the dragon shrine, I think. I knew you'd be around soon. Go ahead and use that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Use it on the chime. Oh, I'd already upgraded this once. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Trade Keeper Shield is pretty nice, actually. I'll be around. Okay. So, what do these giant souls do? Take a look at them, actually. What did they say? Soul of a giant who came to conquer Drang Lake. Ah, uh, I don't love that language, but uh, it came to, re to, to do a vengeance. Will the giant's resentment for the king be pacified in death or only emboldened? Can be used to acquire souls only. Uh, so the person that we're gonna go and fight, or uh, well, I mean, we're gonna fight him either way, uh, is uh, is Vendrick, who was wandering around in a tomb in circles all on his own. For that, I want to go to the Lost Steel. Just here, there. Uh, so Vendrick is, um, in addition to being part giant and the king, is is otherwise empowered and almost impossible to do damage to if you don't possess the giant's souls. Flame, dear flame. For each giant soul you possess, his damage reduction is reduced by half. So with four out of five, he has uh, uh, essentially, um, he takes half damage as opposed to taking like one 32nd damage, which would have been the, the base. So we've got that going for us. All right, if I put lightning on you, what happens? That's pretty good. We're not using hexes. Um, I don't have a bolt stone. Well, let's go get a bolt stone. Be gone. Actually, before, well, no, let's get a bolt stone. For, oh, we need 9,000 for the bolt I stone and the infusion. Just gotta do some math. And this, and, nope, that's way, nope, that's too many. Put some back. Oh, those are arrows again, I did it again. What does 140 cost us? 1,000 out of 24, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Thanks, bud, I'll be back. Little bit of bookkeeping. Or, you know, enchant our dragon sh dragon chime. <laughs> uh, since it is otherwise a, a superior chime, it's just not as good at lightning specifically at the moment. We're going to change that by putting lightning on it. As I do all of my things. It's sort of my brand. You are a wandering transient. Yada, 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 yada. Yes. I'm done with the Pilgrims of Dark. Got everything I can from them. I should probably take this cat ring off, eh? One thing at a time. Thanks, bud. Pursue you. Yeah, yeah. Bye. All right. Uh, on that note, King's Ring. And away we go. Mew. Ha. Boop. Boop. And McDuff. McDuff. And I put some lightning on our chime. I kind of like the idea of a bell that is infused with lightning so that in addition to making like a clarion sound, it also has a crackle to it. So it sounds like a, a clarion, but on like an old recording. What is this thing? Oh yeah, the, the club. Strength 60, good lord. Well, that's not happening. And there. Beautiful. Flame. All right, and it's our new best friend there. We're good on these. Happy about these. All right, go ahead and make our way to Castle Drang Lake, where our story ends. But probably not tonight. Right, bong. <laughs> All right, first, I have to kill a knight. We did it. <laughs> So this, whoa, ba ba -boo -ah. 
is the path to the actual end of the game. My journey. Sorry, I got my scythe in your face. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. By ones who would cause him fate herself. They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be bested, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nashandra to rest. Okay, that's what we're going to do on Thursday. So I realized I went to the wrong bonfire, but that's still a cool note. We probably have just enough time for one attempt. Uh, a ditch. Fire soul in a humanish body, I suppose. Yeah. There's, uh... There's a lot of implications about, like, what Shanalot was supposed to be, whether it was, like, a, a firekeeper or a, like, was the monarch or... It's not very clear. But she had a purpose, and at least those who made her believe that she failed that purpose and were kind of going to help with a new agenda. Which I think is dope. So this is where we fought Velstat. There we go. Oh, I brought the wrong spells to this fight. That's right. I do not expect that we'll get this in one, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see what we have. 13 minutes? Even if we get this in one, yeah, one attempt is probably going to take us the rest of the stream unless I die immediately, which is possible. Has happened before. Oh, I love how much you guys don't like sides. Like, they just shred you. Inside you, there are two dragons. One hoards knowledge, the other hoards trinkets. They're both excited about going to the museum, but one of them is more focused on the gift shop. <laughs> this is very good. All right. I'm going to try this Scythe of the Forlorn, because it does bleed damage, uh, which will be enhanced by our Crest of Blood from the rats. Oh, no, this is the blood from... Uh, Titchy Gren. So that'll be fun. I uh, don't need this crossbow. Probably don't need the, the uh, spell flower, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead and equip our Bright Bug, which increases our damage. Uh, that's kind of the biggest stuff, yeah? Got the souls on us, which is the important thing. Uh, I didn't remember to bring any of my important things otherwise, so this is what we got. Uh, it's fine. Go ahead and we'll take a moment first to do this while he's not hostile. Alright, I think we got his attention now. Nope. Still doesn't care. I think I mentioned at one point in all of this that bleed damage is almost useless in PvE. It's it's very useful in PvP stuff, but since most enemies don't really have a stamina bar, I tried to roll again. That's like eight times tonight that I thought I started to roll and I didn't see the command go through. 
and I'm starting to worry about the Bluetooth connection on my controller. Which I hate. Alright, I said we weren't going to get it in one, and I was correct. Uh, also, I was talking the whole time. But Bleed, uh, specifically, is not uh, super good against human opponents, um, because it carves through both health and stamina, it can be very, very handy for setting somebody up for a stagger. Uh, but against most enemies, it doesn't just doesn't have an effect. Um, in uh, this particular exception, uh, the nice thing is that the or Vendrick is one of the bosses that is not immune to bleed damage, and it's one of the only things that just is a flat damage number and is not affected by his damage reduction. Uh, I don't think it helped us terribly much there, but uh, it's the it's the strategy that I'm at least tentatively going with, especially as long as I can uh, keep lightning on. But this time I may wait to uh, enchant my uh, scythe until after. Hopefully I didn't just screw this one up. I didn't. Good. We have ten minutes left. We have at least one more attempt in us here. Ooh. Trying very hard not to hit that bell. Oh, hello. Insolent Phantom here. Okay. You know what we could do with something different? Perfect. Thanks, friend. It was very fun. Now let's do one more try, but with the bone sight this time. Let's see what happens. Right through the shield. Green blossom. That say prisoners waste cloth, the wash cloth, or neither. Waste cloth. You got it in one. Alright, Vendrick. One more time tonight, and then we'll come back Thursday and see if we can finish you off. First. I'm not. And this. I'm gonna wait until we actually see a health bar before I start enchanting stuff. Oh good, this time he actually just starts aggro. That makes it easier. Okay, fire enough. Early, 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 early. Uh, nuts and bolts and nuts and bolts. So yeah, we basically have uh, exactly one oopsie. If we ever take two shots in a row, we're just insta-dead. Uh, so that's... That's honestly a pretty good place to end it. Um, this is with four giant souls, so like... It only gets harder from here, is the thing. But, if we can beat Vendrick, then we can unlock the special ending which makes me very happy personally. So we're going to try that again on a Thursday night's stream. We'll go ahead and, and wrap up a little bit early tonight. We got more done than I expected because uh, we got back to Vendrick. Also, I need to, to switch up before I forget for next time. We're going to get some a soul appease because Vendrick is hollow. So this totally works. Uh, what should we add? I don't think we're never going to get a heal off in time for that to matter. Lightning is probably not a terrible idea. We're going to go ahead and double up Sunlight Blade. No, I disagree with myself. We're going to go ahead and do Lightning. Because Sunlight Blade didn't seem like it was doing enough on its own. All right, anyhow. Uh, this is where I will leave you tonight. But, but, 
Nope, not that. There. Eh. Nope. Got it. <laughs> so, uh, later on tonight, assuming that the, the network is holding up and uh, they're still up for it, I believe over on the Squirrel Lily channel, uh, Christy, are you playing more Minecraft with uh, Galacticraft and Thumbcraft and uh, various other mods? Uh, if so, definitely go check that out. We'll toss a raid their way in another five minutes or so here. Uh, and uh, before to I think we're going to Venus. Hell yes. Uh, boy, uh, to, uh, mind that acid damage because uh, that's, uh, that's a doozy. Unless something goes terribly wrong. Not for nothing, but as a fan of space, going to Venus feels like something going terribly wrong. But fingers crossed that that all goes well. Uh, check out our whole schedule at schedule.truck.community where you can see uh, all of the various streams like Christy's coming up just now. Uh, and we have streams pretty much every night during the week, sometimes multiple times a day. Uh, so we got lots more uh, coming your way if you're uh, looking for something to watch. And also we have our... Let me go ahead and tab out of this. Uh, we have the YouTube channel where uh, there are lots more further adventures of Nikki 666 uh, having done all kinds of weird shenanigans in between streams. Uh, probably the last of those videos went up yesterday uh, as we, we went through the dark chasms of old. I don't think I'm going to do another cleanup stream, even though we have stuff to run back through, but none of it's interesting. Uh, so I think, I think that's that. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Have a wonderful week ahead. We'll be back at it with more of this Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, and I hope to see you then. Good night.